This is a Resolume quick tip about moving, sharing, and copying your Resolume composition, MIDI shortcuts, advanced output, and presets. I frequently need to share different aspects of my Resolume show file or move the entire thing to another machine. As a house VJ, having an advanced output XML ready for an incoming guest VJ can be a huge help to them, especially if they don't have a lot of programming time before they're set. It's also a good idea to have a backup of your entire show file and MIDI mapping ready to go on another machine in case of computer failure or other issues. And sometimes I just like doing pre-programming at home and then I need to move that show file to my show machine before the set. Or I just want to share some sweet effects presets I've made with another fellow VJ. So let's take a look at how we can do all of this. If we navigate to our documents, Resolume Arena folder, we'll find a bunch of folders in here with all of the different saved aspects of our show files. Most commonly, I need the composition, MIDI shortcuts, and advanced output. In the compositions folder, we'll find all of our saved compositions. This is the actual file that you open up when you're opening up a Resolume show file. Under shortcuts, we'll find all of our different shortcuts, and in the MIDI folder, we'll find our MIDI mapping that we've saved. Under presets, there's an advanced output folder, and this is where all of our saved advanced output mappings are saved. All we need to do is copy these files, move them to the other computer, and place them in the same location on that other machine. Then we can load everything up by opening the composition, loading the advanced output from this drop-down list, or by choosing load and browsing to the file's location. This is also where we can save our advanced output and give it a name, which then places the XML file into that folder. And finally, under the shortcuts menu, loading our MIDI shortcuts from this list. And again, we can save our MIDI shortcut preset here, which saves a file in our shortcuts folder. If I'm using Stageflow or Chaser, I'll also need to grab those files. Back in Documents, we have a Stageflow folder and a Chaser folder where we'll find those files, grab those, move them to the other machine, and place them in the same location. And again, when we open up Stageflow or Chaser, we just need to load those files up and we're ready to go. That all works fine, but if you want to save and move all of your content as well as the composition, you might want to use the Media Manager. Inside of Resolume, we go to Composition Media Manager. We can collect all of our files using the Collect Media button down at the bottom. That will save all of your content and the composition file into a single folder that you can move to another machine and all of those copies of your content will be linked inside of this new copy of the composition. Just beware if you have any unused decks inside of this composition. If the deck is closed but not removed, it's still a part of the composition and the media manager will count all of those files, find them, collect them, and save them into that folder. You can save a lot of time and file space by making sure only what you need is actually linked up inside of the composition. Sweet. So now we've moved our entire composition and everything we need over to the other machine. But what if you're just trying to share some presets with a friend or maybe setting up a new machine and you want all the cool effects presets you've made over the years over on that new machine? Let's find out how to do that. You might have guessed we're going back to the Resolume Arena folder. This time we'll look inside the presets folder and in there we'll find that audio effects, color palettes, envelopes, sources, and video effects can all have custom saved presets that you'll find in each of those respective folders. If you don't know how to make presets, look for this P icon on effects and palettes and things like that. If you click that, after changing parameters to values that you like, give it a name and it'll save inside that folder. All right, I hope that helps you move, share, and back up 
all the things you need for your show file. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And be sure to like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.